Okay, we're, hey guys, DJ the Guild Master back again, another battle report. Uh, we're doing some, again, uh, we're prepping for a store con, mostly me. So, Wolfman, we're having here today with Wolfman and Samurai and some other Valtech guys are coming in. Uh, we're doing a uh, mission. Me and Wolfman are playing, we're playing uh, Breakthrough. So, for deployments, I have this area. In this area, he's placed the objectives by the lake. He will deploy over here. Uh, in res my force is pretty simple. I'm running two formations. I'm running a heavy uh, formation of RDLTs. Uh, basically, it's two groups of four, commander, and one set of Humvees, the scouts. Then my main formation is my Mac two full platoons, one with uh, an extra dragon, commander, set of mortars, set of scout. One one threes, uh, four patents, and a formation support, four lav ads, and two air cobras. For this, I'm leaving the lav ads, the m60s, and both units of scouts all are spearhead off the table. I could maybe spearhead, but it's going to be super tight. And the objectives don't go live till turn six. So there's no point. In so there's really no point in doing it. His reserves come from over here. Mine come from this corner. They're immediate, and over here immediate. Are yours immediate, Wolfman? Mine are delayed. So flanking, flanking delayed, so that's why they get to come over here. But they come in turn three. So. Okay. But so at that point, it could be nighttime because we did roll for. Ro dusk. Oh, that's right. You rolled for dusk. Mm -hmm. uh, I put one range of marker here on this building by the objective. Uh, then you placed one over here yep. by the crop field and the Take oil. Flank off the start. Um. Do you want to go over your list real quick? I know yeah. people are probably going to see a bunch of these videos together. They're going to already know. but yeah, they're going to have seen my list a hundred times. So we have, it's really good looking, though. Yeah. we got the LAV company over here with mm -hmm. the LAV 25s. Okay. Um, we have the M13s, which are the Striker ICBs. Okay. These ones are the LAV 25s, the Striker Dagoon. Okay. Um, RDFLTs are these four, which are the Striker MGS. And that's a support unit. And that's a support unit. We have the two M1A1 HCs. Okay. We have the M109s with minelets, and then we have the uh, M113 OP. Okay. Nice. So, like, you guys have, you're going to see these forces a lot. Seen it a lot. Uh, the next tournament we're going to try to go to is uh, Hammer at the Forge in Pittsburgh. That's, like, not until August 27th. Oh, I go to school that day. Oh, uh, no, starts. no. Uh, uh, I'm, the ceremony actually might go, so I'm going to try to go to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, but right now we're doing a store con. I'm doing bold action in this, and then you're still kind of up in the air, huh? I don't think I'm going. I got stuff. I got a lot of schoolwork to get ready. I have to get my letters of recommendation, get my GRE done. Yeah. Get my FAFSA done. My oh, geez. Other loan from Pennsylvania because they have that thing now. Oh, wow. Um, I got to get all that stuff in. Um, There's a lot. A lot I got to do. For okay. Stuff. Damn. <laughs> I don't want to get it over Damn. There. I know you guys really don't care about our personal lives, but sometimes, like, you can see, like, all you guys have to make choices with gaming. But, uh, so we're going to go. I get to deploy my forces here and here, and then he deploy over here. I was hoping. I didn't realize that you pick. I thought you were going to get stuck in the yeah. lake over here. That would suck. But it still kind of sucks a little bit because, uh, actually not really. I can roll down the road and dump in for chaos. Well, well, I guess the idea is your reserves, like, it limits where they come in a little bit maybe. Mm, they have a bunch of room over here to move because 16 is that corner. And it's the Abrams, so they have 14-inch movement. With five oh, yeah, that's gun. right. Because like, uh, your points are running, your Abrams are what's going to be coming in. Yeah. So okay. There, so I, have tons of I wish I had mindlets because then I'd just drop a mindlet there or right there, like by the river. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start deploying, guys. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, it'll probably be what well, you, I think you go first. I do go first. I'm attacking. It'll be a attack. It'll be, a, it'll be um, Striker Brigade turn one versus uh, Mechanized Light Company. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> well, th these are all elite guys. They're not really reservists. Oh. Uh, we'll be back, guys. Because yeah, I had the... Okay, so I deployed some units here. Mm -hmm. I have one unit in ambush. Everybody else, uh, him. These guys are in their vehicles. Them, him, and them guys are in reserve. My one of three units over here in vehicles. Yeah. These guys... Lavate or uh, 
correction, the oh, hammer, the or them dudes are there. RDFLTs. The mortars are there. Mm -hmm. uh, then, go ahead, tell us about your deployment there, Paul. So I pretty much just made a little U-shape kind of thing with mm -hmm. inside the deployment area. Yeah. Try to move these guys as close to the edge as I could. Artillery over there behind the building hiding so they could fire out and lob over it. Okay. Um, one of those over there so they can crack the entire flank over there to push around. Mm -hmm. Bushmaster's there trying to take out the helicopters. I should probably move the leader that way too, but it's fine. Um, okay. The infantry are up on the vehicles, so they're just going to okay. beam roll those roads. Now, remember, you have anti helicopter, but it's still one shot per gun. Is it? Mm -hmm. fire regular. No, it's just one shot per gun. Anti helicopter can shoot at helicopters. Yeah, it just gives you the ability to shoot. I thought I could fire regular. And then when you read the in the rules, it's like one shot. Oh, okay. But still, though, it gives you that option because. You'll, if you hit and I fail and you make your firepower, it's just one time. Yeah. Uh, all right, so you get turn one. Yeah, I get to attack. Good luck, sir. We'll see how this goes. Uh, we'll be back after turn one. Um, strikers. Okay, so let's... Um, it's so got movement since I missed all you, my shots. You pushed out real aggressively, which is good. I rolled weight on the road. Yep. Uh, you... Tried ranging on them guys, failed. Spectacularly. These guys, this group of four, fired at the 113s, missed. missed. These guys fired helicopters, did hit one, then I made my aircraft safe. Yep, because we're firing darts, apparently. Yeah, like, <laughs> you've been firing the HE. I know, but apparently someone forgot to hit the switch. <laughs> <laughs> These guys fired eight shots into this leader right here. He's like, sup? And missed yeah. everything. Get the tree line. Uh, so we're going on to American turn one, or uh, we're going on to what am I gonna call American my? American turn. American. Two. I'm. A, we're going on to GI Joe turn one because I, I have all the all the uh, the. You have all the maulers. Maulers, dude. Um, I get to roll for reserves. Yes, you do. All right, let's let's see what happens. We'll roll on camera. Fuck. Oh, we're getting one. No. Uh, Ooh, ooh. I guess it depends what I want to bring in on you. I think I know. I'm, I think I'm actually going to bring in. Um. Fuck! You're making this hard for me, Paul. You're making it so hard. Or you're making it so hard with man. I think I think I'm going to bring in my. Uh. Labs. My labs. Take out some infantry here in a second. I'm going to try to. All right, we'll be back after GI Joe turn one. <laughs> All right, so that was a crazy good G.I. Joe turn. These guys blitzed some infantry, blitzed in the building, leaving the dragons in their mm -hmm. 113s. These guys did the same. Dra with dragons and laws, I was able to, like, literally destroy two of the strikers and bail the other two out. Uh, one infantry base died. Mm -hmm. Over here, I had to pop my ambush. They fired, uh, bailed out two vehicles, knocked one out. Then they shot and Scott scooted over here. Commander fired, didn't do much. Uh, these guys fired dragons over here, didn't do much. These guys blitz forward to get within range. Fired, but didn't do much. Uh, these guys that came on reserve came up, uh, bailed out all four of them guys, like the one on the end. These guys were able to fire, bail out both uh, paladins and knock one out. Air troopers came over, knocked out one uh, of the command vehicles. And that is really it for American turn, uh, or G.I. Joe turn one. Um, yeah, that was, that was a pretty brutal turn for me. Going on to striker turn two. I think that's everything. Let me okay. think real quick. So ICB's fired. Dragon's fired. These fired. This fired. This okay. fired. He didn't range in, but he that's because they were firing at something else. Yep. Um, leader got bailed. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Everything. So what, what ended up happening? You occupied these buildings. Mm -hmm. You shot and assaulted and took that building from me. Mm -hmm. You bailed him out, but he made his double bail. Mm -hmm. uh, you bailed one of them out. Mm -hmm. Then you bailed these three oh. out. Yep. Uh, you failed to ream out, but you did make your leadership. He yep. fired directly and missed. Uh, a lot of your guys blitzed. Um, yeah, that's that's a. Uh, Striker turn two. Yeah. So we're going to a GI Joe turn two. I killed a big chunk of infantry, so I am currently controlling the objective, which yeah. is good. And now I'm going to be hunkered down, so. You need to hold it until. <laughs> turn six. Yeah. So I need to try to. 
You're going to have to get yeah, the big tank up there, and hopefully the Abrams won't come in. Well, sure. I'm hoping I can break a formation and kill a bunch of stuff. So I will be back. Because your Abrams are in your infantry formation, correct? Yep. Okay, we'll be back. Well, that was a crazy turn two. You're going on a turn three. These guys came in over here, didn't come far enough. They failed their blitz, so they kind of stayed there, long bombed and missed. These guys stayed here with dragons, uh, bailed out another one. Infantry inside the building, took out the dragons on the road. He only bailed one out. Air Cobras moved over here, bailed out two of the RDLTs, or the uh, Strike Rim GSs. These guys kind of stayed in place. Uh, shredded one of them, killed the commander, but he jumped. Then they shot and killed the other two. Uh, or actually, one sh killed one. These two fired, knocked out another uh, paladin. These guys fired and missed. They kind of spread themselves out. They failed their blitz, and they fired one shot and missed over here. 50 cows led up the building. Uh, I think pinned them, but killed a guy. And then my mortar from the commander ranged in. Hit but didn't kill but did pin everybody. Mm -hmm. So we're going on to turn three. Uh, this is where you get the roll for reserves, buddy. <gasps> nope. Ugh. All right, Paul. We're going to never get reserves. I always get the pity one. You got. You're really getting. The the problem is they go live turn six is what's hurting you mm -hmm. really bad right now. And I'm just. I'm defending the objective perfectly. Yeah, you have it, and I'm I'm just trying to piecemeal everything you have. So you have some leaderships. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be back after America or Striker Turn Three. Okay, right. back in. Every help or hurt? Probably help you. They'll probably help me because so, you won't be able to see me. So maybe I have thermals too. Yeah, so this, but you uh, see twenty four with them. So maybe. So this is going to go to the. G uh, so that was the end of Striker Turn Three. Abrams didn't come in. And of course not. Uh, this group stayed pinned, or this group was pinned. This one unpinned. This one was pinned. Yep. So dragons fired out here, took out two. Yep. Say two of the RDFLTs. Yep. Laws fired into there, killed one. Yep. These guys fired, didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. One of these is dead. Yep. The dragon inside it was killed. Yep. Um, then we had a twin fire from the RDFLTs over there. Locked out another one. one. So now they're in bad spirits. So your RDFLTs hit mine, but I can't hit yours. Yep. We're flying across. Um. This guy moved to cover, so he's now. Gone, see you. Yep. And um, gone to ground. Uh, you fight killed my commander in the wood line here. Killed your commander with the dragoons. Uh, these four sh strikers Unloaded. lit, and because of the range and everything else, I was able to like you couldn't roll fire powers yeah, or couldn't roll fire powers. I just they just all these slugs went through the vehicles and like missed yeah, everything. Your engine is burning and yeah. smoking. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Uh, Boy. So I get to roll two for night. Yeah. So uh, what dice do I need to roll? Three and below, it's daytime still, which is daytime it's still. It's daytime. And then I'm going to end up getting my last unit from reserve. Yep, your pity. My pity. And they'll they'll come on wherever. I'm trying to think where I need them. Probably. Nowhere. <laughs> um, I'll probably over here so I can maybe put pressure when your Abrams finally come. Who knows? Because they're coming. They're coming. So it's still daytime, so I need to try to knock out what's left of this company, which mm -hmm. is going to be hard. All right, guys, we'll be back after G.I. Joe turn three. I got some leaderships to do and some other stuff. Spread out so far. It's not even that. I'm not even that spread out. I'm, like, I'm just blowing up. I, I, my dice have still got super hot. Uh, so these guys moved forward. They shot and missed. These guys were blitz. They bailed one out, put some shots in the building. These guys failed and moved over here. Uh, moving over. The Air Cobras actually knocked one out finally and bailed one. And then over here, the Lavs, three of them fired over here, actually bailed one out with a lucky hit on a seven. And the other one was able to knock out the commander. These guys moved forward, firing gun rounds into the building here, did nothing. These guys moved back in the woods so I can get some little bit at least cover from the dragons. Uh, the, the one vehicle moved back here, he made a save. My last unit came on over there. Mortars. Went and uh, hit again and pinned that unit in the building. Uh, and then these guys here firing laws. Laws usually do nothing for me. They actually blew up two of the, the strikers. So this is going on to uh, striker turn four. Uh, you want to roll for night first or reserves first? Your reserves coming in. Yeah, I'm rolling for night. Nope. 
reserve. Okay, it's going to come in anyway. Oh, oh yeah. Because it, it's up. Uh, no, wait, but was it's what, two dice? Yeah, two dice. So we got to re-roll that one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Not. I think it's, no, I still have a chance to win. I can crush you off of it. Right, this is turn five. Yeah. So. I just need to be here. Yeah. And you just need to not be there. All right, we're going on to turn five. We'll be back. Okay. Okay, so that was the end of uh, turn four. Yep. Uh, so you just kind of remounted some stuff, shot. You did bail out one Humvee. Yeah, I need to kill uh, them. Yeah, these guys got back in, killed these two. Mm-hmm. Uh, you did knock out one of those and bail two of them in. Yep. Um, and your, your Abrams failed to come in. Again. Uh, and you did uh, bail out the one uh, T-60. M-60, yeah. So I get it's on to my turn. I have some leadership, some remounts to do. And I got to now, I got to push on that hard and just try to squeeze the guys out of there. All right, we'll be back after uh, G.I. Joe turn four. Was the end of GI Joe turn five? So the part that these guys moved back, he filled them out back in. Oh, I still have. Before I forget, these guys can fire. Oh yeah. Uh, so let me. Uh, how far is their range? Is it 12 or 16? 12. If it's any squad. Yeah, it's their regular. I think it's too far to go across there, right? Yeah, that is. I guess I could fire laws at the command vehicle. Five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, they have infantry have thermal. Still fives because they're behind all the wrecks. All right, still good. Well, the bottom two and the bottom four would be fives. And then the top floor would be fours. Oh, so one, one hit. hit. Yeah. Nope. So it's bailed. Okay. So that's, we, we forgot that. So moving on, that guy stayed. Them guys kind of moved over. These guys moved up, fired. These moved up, and these moved up to get within range of the objective. It's night time now. Um, these guys here finally killed one through bailing. I hit them, what was it, like almost eight times? All your shots. Yeah. And I still can't roll five to save my soul to blow them up. Like, they're just eating too many resources. Uh, we're going on to Eric in turn six. Six, yep. So, so he has if to I end this one on it with nobody within four, I win. Yes. If not, then it goes on to turn seven. And uh, I just can't get them guys out of that building, although I'm finally whittling them down. But I just need to kill two. Yeah. Because there's guys inside those. Yeah. So. Well, no, there's no... Oh, the dragons. The dragons. All right, we'll be back after uh, striker turn uh, six. Well, they still won't be close enough to... No, it's 421. That's right. I looked. Okay, so that, so we were right at time then. Mm -hmm. Look, actually... Well... Uh, We'll be able to one because he ended up killing these guys. I blew him up with the Abrams that came in. They rolled yeah. up since those guys fired. They were clear as day open yeah. for me. M60 was within range, so he couldn't bounce it. Yeah. Shot him in the side, blew him up. These guys fired the dragons, took out one in the laws, and took out another. Right. Infantry had to back up because they couldn't be closer. Right. And I was, I was close to actually finally getting the infantry down where I could actually break them. Mm -hmm. Uh, the I leader's think, in the bottom, so he's good. What I, I probably could have done, what I was going to do if I was still within range, mm -hmm. I was going to have these infantry come out and then assault into the building. <laughs> My infantry they couldn't get there fast enough to assault. Uh, I always do that with infantry. Uh, these guys finally ran away. Yeah, they ran away. Um, oh, God. I don't know, that was, a, that was a close one. It was a stressful last turn. Yeah. Was like, it's always, for me, like, I'm... So close to winning, and there's always a dude just a little too close. Yeah. I have to try and push them off fast. Yeah. So the Abrams blew that one apart, blew those two apart. Because the only thing you have left is those couple squads, leader, and the Abrams. Yeah, which is an entire formation. And the OP way in the corner who's yeah, sitting he's, there alone because I didn't want to move him because right. it was annoying. Uh, my Air Cobras, these guys here, they should have died like two turns ago. And if that was the case, I would have flew over here and just been chain gunning the building the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. That was a good game. Uh, I, I one thing I probably would have done differently was um, well, no, not really. I probably should have just occupied that building first before you had time to get in there. Because mm -hmm. like you moved up, I I should have just moved over and occupied it. Well, you occupied. Well, I got first turn, so I was already here. But you didn't have anyone inside there because yeah. you moved up. It wasn't until after I blew vehicles up that you had guys jump in the building. So, 
And then this one was you were occupied, but I just assaulted you. I, I, for some reason, yeah, you kept rolling saves, and I couldn't roll any saves. And then assault happened. And then, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get enough hits to uh, stop your assault. I don't think you killed anybody in the assault. No, well, I didn't get a chance to swing. Yeah, that's right. I killed them I didn't get a chance to swing. <laughs> I killed them all in my first swing. Well, at least I had both my formations left, which is good. Yeah. The one is about to break. The other one is fine. Ah, there's still two units left. Yeah. Even if that one guy over there runs, there's still two units mm -hmm. and good spirits. If I would have had them left, I would have been able to crack them. But... Well, my... Because if I didn't lose the main formation over there, I was going to push the yeah. other labs around, shred through the last of your yeah. FLTs and break it. My, um... My dag on what I wanted to do was get rid of the lav formation. That's why I got rid of them because they could do the most damage to me yeah. until the Abrams came on. Over here, the air cobras kept strafing these guys because they don't benefit from cover. Mm -hmm. So that was the idea, but I couldn't roll a firepower to save my soul. I kept saving. Well, yeah, well, you'd barely save, and the ones you'd fail, I couldn't get into. But uh, and every double bail was a remount. Yeah, luckily. Uh, but yeah, that was a good game. Uh. There's, there's a couple small mistakes on my part, which wasn't too my awful bad. never come in until the last second. Yeah. Every single time. Well, if I hadn't of, if I, my guys have been a hair closer, I should just, well, Dashie wouldn't have done anything. But if you blitzed, you would have got a little bit closer, and then you could have. I could have, I could have just blitzed that way. Yeah. And guys, but anyway, that's the game, guys. Uh, hope you like it. Anything to add, Paul? Or, uh. Anything are you both you guys I guess to add? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> I sucked and I was happy. <laughs> DJ has salt water dice. I wish there were salt water dice. If that was the case I would want. <laughs> it seemed like you kept rolling five and up. And well, then when you'd go to blow stuff up it would be lower. Yeah. Like I would hit all kinds of stuff but I couldn't like seal a deal you just through bailing. Bail everything. Uh I did knock out a bunch of strikers and everything else. Yeah, but they were just the infantry transport, so it's fine. Well, it helps slow down all your shooting. That's what that helped me. All right, guys. This is the Guildmaster with Wolfman and Samurai. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.